Hey drummers, hope you're doing well. Shout out to Fiona who is working with her triplet feel or 12-8 feel or compound time feel, 6-8 feel, whatever you want to call it. This groove. It's that lovely rounded 12-8 or compound time feel. It could be sleazy blues, it could be funk like this was. It could be slow like that, it could be faster. Could be a faster feel, like hold the line by Toto or something like that. The way you make me feel, um, Michael Jackson, that kind of thing. But like that, da, 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 which I would often count as one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Yeah, I know if you're in uh, compound time, technically they're not triplets, are they? They're just eighth notes at that point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But that feel, that's the thing. And we're talking about uh, drum fills here. Now, when we start playing drum fills, one of my top tips I always give people to start out with is whatever feel you're playing on the hi-hat or the ride in your groove, play that around the kit in some way for your fill. It's this very simple formula, but actually works pretty well. So say that you're playing a straight eight speed. Three, four. A classic starter drum fill would be something like taking this pulse here, one and two and three and four and four. And playing it around the kit, right? And it doesn't have to be one whole bar long. It can be done nice and short. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. So the, the principle is you take whatever pulse, again, you're playing on the hi-hat or the ride or wherever else you're playing, and you put that around the kit in some way. That's a pretty solid place to start for drum fills. Now, in this feel, this 12-8, 6-8 compound time triplet feel, You can do just the same thing. Here it comes. One, two. And that's great. And again, you might be playing slower, might be playing faster, might be a blues thing where all you need is. And your drum fill might be. Classic sleazy blues. And the thing with that is. It's, again, it's the same principle, isn't it? It's taking your pulse that you play on the hi-hat or the ride, play it around the kit. This is if you want to go just a little further. And all we, we were starting to do in our session here is just get the idea of introducing a bit of new vocabulary. Now, I know a lot of people like to just sit and noodle and play around and ideas come from that. And that's great. Another way to think about things is just to be a bit more like systematic, a bit more mathematical, whatever you want to think about it. If this way of thinking doesn't work for you, that's cool. Discard it, but I, I, I really dig it. And this is just sort of showing your brain the possibilities, like what, what things could I play? Now this way of thinking is we take our basic feel, which is one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, we're gonna count as if they were triplets here, and we're gonna try placing one extra note, which will be like a little, make a two little 16th notes, uh, in like the three possible positions. The first position is between the number, like the beat, and the trip, so like one and triplet. You get it, so if the basic pattern is one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, Four triplet doesn't have to go around the kit like that. I'm just doing that to demonstrate how a fill might work. Uh, here we're going to play one and triplet. So the original triplet is totally intact. In the first case, what we'll do is it won't always have to be like this, but just to get your head, our head around it, we'll play that with our lead stick, which will be my right stick, and the extra note, the and, we'll play that with a left stick. So we've gone from basic version one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, to adding in. A note between the number and the trip. One and trip, blah. two and trip, blah. three and trip, blah. four and trip. Blah. So, three trip, blah. four, here it comes. One and trip, blah. two and trip, blah. three and trip, blah. four and trip. Blah. Again, the sticking doesn't always have to stay like that, but I think it's a nice place to start. I'll say it before someone else does. Yes, like no, like Dave Grohl did in No One Knows, Queens of the Stone Age. That kind of feel there. They are true triplets, and he's playing a, what's commonly called a herter. Right, left, right, left in that case. So that's one and triplet. The next possibility of the three would be between the trip and the let. Again, if you're counting one triplet, this would be one trip and let. Again, to demonstrate, I'm gonna play the basic core triplet with my right stick. I'm gonna play the and with my left. This is from the basic beginning of 
one trip blur. This is now one trip and blur. So, here it comes one trip and blur, two trip and blur, three trip and blur, four trip and blur. Bit faster. So really nice little unit of vocabulary. And uh, lastly, thirdly, in this little first sort of expansion beyond just the basic feel, uh, we're going to place the and here, so to speak, after the let's, like the final place it could be, right? In It could be between the one and the trip, which we did at first, then between the trip and the let, and this time it'll be after the let. Same principle, I'm going to play with my right stick, one trip, let. The and will come after the let. One trip, let, and two trip, let, and three trip, let, and Sound like this. So just a quick recap, those three units of vocabulary again. First of all, one and trip, blur. One, two and trip, blur. Three and trip, blur. Four and trip, blur. And then between the trip and the let, one trip and let. One trip and let. Two trip and let. Three trip and let. Four trip and let. Lastly, after the let, here it comes. One trip, let, and two trip, let, and three trip, let, and four trip. Let. Usual story, have a little play with them, get your head around it on the channel members page, channel members of this channel. I'll now put the notation and the practice along version for each of those in basic form. Uh, then of course the fun starts. Once you've got your head around it, you start to combine them. like that, right? They're just starting points. Again, your drum fill doesn't always have to be one bar long. Often they're much shorter, aren't they? little units of vocabulary one time again one and trip let with the and between the one and the trip one trip and let with the and between the trip and the let and one trip let and with the and at the end after the let just places to start just ideas if you can get fluent with those then you're up and running the idea is like all these types of groove we learn our ultimate aim is to sort of get to that beautiful point musicians love to get to where you've got that freedom. You can express yourself. You probably wouldn't even be thinking of these terms in the end, but they are a great place to start. As ever on the channel members page, like I said, if you're a channel member of this channel, please check it out. You've got the, the notation and practice along version for each of those. Uh, shout out to all the amazing channel members who support this channel, really appreciate it. Uh, if becoming a channel member is of interest, details below. And please like, share and subscribe as always. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Fiona, have fun with that. See you soon, cheers.